very pleased to be presenting today the first ever European Parliament report outlining all the political, institutional and funding aspects needed for the achievement of gender equality in EU foreign and security policy. In light of the current global challenges where women and girls are the most impacted, the need for a gender-based EU foreign and security policy becomes more urgent than ever. In the report, we present several recommendations to be considered in the upcoming new Gender Action Plan 21-25 that will be published shortly. Starting with political representation and participation in decision-making processes, we ask for a gender quota of 50% at all levels of the Commission and EAS management by 2024, including heads of delegation and heads of CSDP missions. Mandatory trainings on gender equality with special attention to middle and upper managers of the EAS and heads of CSDP missions and operations should also be introduced. More resources need to be assigned to the EAS Principal Advisor on Gender to continue and reinforce her work. Therefore, we call on the High Representative to continue his efforts in this area by appointing a full-time Gender Advisor in each EAS Directorate and to establish gender focal points in all EU delegations. We also need to increase the efficient use of existing and future EU resources through gender-responsive budgeting. As we negotiate at the moment the proposed neighbourhood development and international cooperation instrument, we should make gender mainstreaming and targeted actions clear objectives under that regulation and ensure that partners can count on sufficient political and financial support to implement it. At the same time, the EU needs to dedicate efforts to monitor the backlash against gender equality and LGBTIQ rights in the world, promote the human rights of women and protect women human rights defenders. Therefore, we call on the EU and its member states to take steps to protect women and their sexual rights in their humanitarian aid response as well as access to justice.